America. This is old Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel coming to you from a secret location somewhere in America. Yeah, right there is where I wished I was riding my uh, FXR down that road right there. Anyways, uh, today's my birthday. Happy birthday to me. I was going to do this video uh, naked, on a, but I couldn't do it on account of this here's a family channel and I uh, didn't want to offend anybody like that. And uh, Probably if I was naked, it would be offensive to most people. Anyways, it's my birthday, and uh, I thought I'd share with you some of my thoughts about my birthday. One of the things I'd always thought about was, uh, you know, it'd be uh, kind of neat uh, to uh, die on your birthday, see. Uh, but then when I got to think about it, well, I thought, well, that's probably a good idea, except I don't think I want to do it on this particular birthday. So uh, that's one of the ideas I had, and uh, I'll tell you a little bit about when I was born. When I was born, I was born in St. Mary's Hospital uh, in uh, West Palm Beach, Florida, and uh, that's where I was born. And uh, I cried so much that the nurses had to put me over in a special room on account I kept all the other babies awake. Well, that kind of goes with my personality. I don't care to be around people any damn way. And so I probably just want to be over there by myself. When I was in the second grade and the third grade, my teachers used to lock me up in the closet because I was so disrupted. And uh, I liked it up in the closet because I could climb up in the closet and look out through the little vents into the other room. So I could look into the other room and the next teacher's room and everybody and listen to everybody's stuff. I had a lot of fun in the closet. So after a while, I got where I got in trouble on, person, on purpose so I could get put up in the closet. And uh, hell, I didn't care nothing about studying. That's more fun to have watching people in the... In, out of the closet and stuff like that. And then uh, my second grade teacher, Miss Ducey, she's a good teacher. I mean, she did teach me some good stuff. I'll give her that much. But uh, she used to always want to try to keep me after school, see, you know, punish me like that. That's what they did back in the 50s, 40s and 50s. Well, uh, she say, uh, now, Robert, they call me Robert, they call me Jim. Huh? She said, Robert, uh, you like to stay after school today? And I said, yes, ma'am. And uh, I know how to tell time. I know when the clock said three o'clock uh, up there, it's time to get out of school. I know that much. I, I didn't care about getting in school. I was getting out of school is all I wanted to do. So anyway, so I, I'd watch that clock and you get about five minutes to it. And I'd say, I'd raise my hand up. Mr. Dizzy, yeah, Robert. Say, I'll go get a drink of water. Yeah, I'll go get a drink of water. I'll go get out there, go around, go out the door, go right down that way a little bit, give me a drink of water, and then I'll stick back by the door go on and go home. And uh, after about a week of that, the teacher called my mama up there and she said, uh, Miss Morris, your boy is uh, sneaking out of class every day and uh, we can't figure out how he's doing it. And uh, she said, no, he's in the second grade and he's sneaking out of class and you can't figure out how he's doing it? That's my mama. Okay, well that's enough now. Uh, Jim Bob's gonna wrap this thing up and send all your money to Jim Bob's commentary channel. Uh, uh, you can find it, uh, find a, a donation site there somewhere. I know you could anyway. But anyways, if you ain't got no money, well, send me my regrets to you and all that stuff. And so, uh, happy birthday to me. Jim Bob is out.